hello everyone welcome back so here in this video we will go for discussing about the preparation of working capital requirement so working capital is nothing but the capital which is required for the day to day operations or for the shorter time period so now in this video i am going to explain how we will go for estimating the requirement of working capital for each and every business organization there is a requirement of working capital now we will see how that working capital requirement can be as prepared as a statement so here prepare an estimate of working capital requirement from the following information of a trading concern so they are clearly saying that it is a trading concern not a manufacturing concern so the given information is projected annual sales 10000 units selling price per unit 10 rupees so they are giving sales in terms of units and separately they are mentioning the selling price per unit so if you cross multiply this if you multiply these two things you will get the original amount of sales that is 1 lakh rupees will be the sales amount in terms of money so they are separately giving in units and also giving selling price so the final uh, total amount in terms of rupees sales amount is 1 lakh rupees now they are giving percentage of net profit on sales 20% so means this is the percentage of net profit on this total sales this, this is the percentage means out of 1 lakh 20% is the net profit remaining 80% is uh, something other than they are using for other purpose net profit percentage is 20% and uh, average credit period allowed to customers is 8 weeks customers is nothing but debtors to the business organization if we are providing credit sales then customers will become the debtors to the company and they will go for paying the amount after some time period so the time period allowed by the company to customers is 8 weeks and the average credit period allowed to suppliers so here the suppliers will give time to pay the amount to company so the time is 4 weeks average stock holding in terms of sales requirement so the holding stock is 12 weeks they are holding in the stock and they are giving 10% for the contingencies so this is what the information they have given of a trading concern and they are asking us to cal prepare a statement of working capital requirement so let us go for preparing the working capital statement so this is what the pro forma we use for preparing the statement of working capital requirement you will be having two columns that is particulars and amount column in particulars as we know that working capital is nothing but current assets minus current liabilities then you will get the working capital required for the business organization so now in the particulars first we have to write down all the current assets so what are the items in the given uh, in the question what are the information they have given from that information identify all those current assets write down here so in the information current assets is one is customer that is debtor to the company and another one is the stock these two are the current assets in this information so first we will go for writing up the debtors so what is the time period given for debtors 8 weeks right eight weeks now the amount how we will calculate so see the working note here so they have given the sales in terms of units so the sales in terms of rupees that is 10000 units into per unit rate that is 10 so you will get the amount as the 1 lakh rupees so this is the total sales amount so now you again they are giving net profit so what is the percentage they are giving net profit so they are saying that percentage of net profit on sales is 20% so total sales amount is 1 lakh so 1 lakh into 20% that is 20 by 100 so 20000 so this is what the net profit means 1 lakh minus 20000 so that is 80000 will be 
your value for all the calculation because net profit is kept with the organization itself it will not be given for anyone so the remaining amount whatever you are having this should be considered for calculation of our working capital requirement so now debtors is nothing but so amount remained after net profit that is 80000 divided by total number of weeks in a year that is 52 weeks into what is the credit time allowed for the debtors 8 weeks so 8 80000 is the remaining amount after net profit divided by number of weeks in a year 52 into 8 weeks allowed as the time period for the debtors so we'll go for taking 8 so the amount will be the debtors amount that is 12307 so here why we are taking only 52 weeks why can't we take in terms of days means here the credit period allowed to customers and suppliers they are giving in terms of weeks so here also we are going to take in terms of weeks itself and the second current assets given in the problem is average stock holding in terms of requirements so the next item is stock again here also 80000 divided by 52 weeks into the time period what is the stock holding in terms of sales requirements 12 weeks so 80000 into divided by 52 into 12 so you will get the amount Yeah, that is 18,463. So, these are the two current assets present in this information. We are not having any other current assets. So, now go for adding up of these two current assets. So, the amount will be 30,770. So, this will be the total current assets. Now, go for taking the current liabilities because we have to subtract current liabilities from the current assets so in the problem only we are having suppliers these are the creditors so only this is what we re- we will consider as the current liability so remaining information we are not considered as the current liability so now under current liability creditors that is nothing but suppliers here also 80000 amount divided by 52 weeks into time period allowed for the creditors 4 weeks so 80000 by 52 into 4 you'll get 6154 this is what the amount now current assets minus current liabilities so we got the total current assets we got the total current liabilities now current assets minus current liabilities you will get the total net working capital 24616 again one for one more information they have given allow 10% for contingencies so this should be deducted from this total amount if the contingencies amount has not given then directly we will consider this as the net working capital they are saying that 10% for contingencies so here contingencies amount will be 2463 this should be added to the net working capital so means in the preparation of working capital statement first take down all so take all the current assets then add the current assets then go for taking all the current liabilities then from current assets deduct current liabilities you will get the net working capital if you are having any contingencies that contingencies should be added for the net working capital so now it will become 27078 rupees so this is what the working capital requirement so this is how we will go for calculating the working capital requirement so this is the statement how we will go for preparing the working capital requirement so first and foremost read carefully the information given and then prepare a statement where first you have to record current assets then you have to record current li- from current assets you have to deduct current liabilities then if you are having any contingencies 
that should be added for the networking capital finally we will get the working capital requirement so this is how we will go for preparing a statement of working capital